The San Gabriels and San Bernardinos could get another foot of snow by tomorrow. KKL News reporter Nicole Comstock live in Crestline for us tonight. Nicole? Yeah, you guys, and we have some patchy fog out here right now blowing in with the wind, which is obviously starting to make driving conditions pretty difficult because of low visibility at different points on the mountain heading up the road. And people are just crossing their fingers that this is a weak storm so the wind and snow don't wreck anything else up here. As dense fog rolls in, another dusting of snow and strong winds are set to hit the San Bernardino Mountains overnight. And here in an already blizzard battered crest line. And I'm over it. I'm, I'm ready for summer. <laughs> Larry Helm just got a foot and a half of slushy snow in the last day or so. When it ices over, it's miserable. Big patches of ice. I'm in four wheel drive and I still went sideways. The local handyman says he's getting calls left and right from people who still need major repairs at their homes. So I have a whole bunch of clients that roofs, not roofs damage as much as uh, deck damage. There's a lot of decks that have collapsed, friends of mine. The damage toll from this historic month of winter weather is astounding. The San Bernardino County Fire Department now confirms that in these mountain towns, 123 homes and buildings were destroyed, and 832 homes and buildings have various levels of storm damage. Christ, it was that bad? Yeah. Jeez. So Sam Lang says this smaller storm can't even compare to what these communities have already been through. The worst snowstorm I have seen my entire life. But this next bout of wind and snow could pack enough power to bring down more trees, which have already knocked holes through plenty of homes up here. Probably the worst things that could have happened have already happened. I'm watching it constantly, but nothing you can do about it. Well, it is 32 degrees out here right now, but I can tell you that the wind is definitely making it feel even colder than that. It looks like the snow will start falling out here at about midnight or maybe even a little bit sooner. Reporting live in Crestline, I'm Nicole Comstock, KCAL News. Nicole, thank you.